guys, how's it going? It's Justine, and today we are chatting about WWDC predictions and some of the latest iPhone 8 rumors that I just came across. There's some new leaked images of a potential iPhone 8, and what can we expect that will be announced at WWDC this Monday? I am so excited because last year at WWDC, there wasn't that much that was announced, so this year is supposed to be the big deal. There's so many potential new hardware announcements, software announcements, Siri speaker, iPhone 7S, iPhone 8, MacBook upgrades, my fingers crossed, at a Mac Pro announcement. I feel like this WWDC will not disappoint. I've got a bit of a confession to make though. I don't think I'm gonna be able to watch the announcement. So that's where I'm gonna need you guys. I need you to tweet me information. I need you guys to let me know as things are happening. I don't know if any of you guys know this, but I'm actually a really huge Tool fan. I've been a fan since early high school and they rarely tour. The last time was three years ago when I made my sister fly to San Francisco with me to go see them. And when they do, it's like a big deal. I'm in Pittsburgh right now and I'm going to see them in my hometown and I couldn't be more excited. I mean, I'm seriously so excited that I'm skipping an Apple announcement to go see Tool. So if there's any other Tool fans out there that I think that you can sympathize with me and the rest of us, this is a big deal. I'm going to need you to tweet me and let me know everything that is happening as it's happening. You can follow me on Twitter at iJustine if you're not already. Now let's get into some of the good stuff and why you guys are here. So of course my trusted Mac rumors. I love you guys so much. iOS 11, Mac OS 1013, new versions of watch OS and TV OS, a 10.5 inch iPad Pro. Mm. and a Siri speaker. Before we talk about that, we have to discuss, there was this guy on Reddit saying that he had insider information on the next 12 months of hardware updates. There's an Apple glasses project, which would be Apple's AR sort of augmented reality type glasses, which says here it's potentially delayed or maybe canceled. I haven't really seen much about Apple glasses at all. I don't, let's see, AR glasses release date. I guess people are sort of talking about it, but it hasn't actually been on my radar. Siri, what's this on my nose? <laughs> The rumors surrounding an Apple AR glasses product. Honestly, I'm not sure if this is something that I that they're really gonna focus on, at least not right now, so it definitely makes sense if it is something that is delayed. If they make AR glasses or something super cool, because I love the Snapchat specs, and I actually do wear glasses, so if there were some sort of cool prescription glasses that actually look just like my actual glasses, that I could take photos and talk to my phone, you better believe I'll probably be first in line for that. MacBook 2018 update with smart key technology. It's designed a smart keyboard that can be customized to accommodate any language, shortcut, or custom icon. Oh, that's right. We did discuss this before in a previous video. So just imagine like the Nook or the Kindle, those types of e-reader ink, that would be essentially on a keyboard. So as you change the language, the keyboard would also change the keys to accommodate whatever language that is. And that's pretty cool, but I'm not really sure how necessary it is. It's cool, but is it necessary? iOS 11, it says Apple is rumored to be working on a social networking app that's similar to Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram, focusing on giving users a way to share video, make edits, add doodles, and send to friends. I feel like if Apple did make a social network and they made it right, it would have a huge potential. If it's something that's already built into your phone that works perfectly with your iPhone and the software and everything else that goes into it, it's a no brainer. If they don't mess it up, it could be beautiful. The issue with that though is will it be backwards compatible? So will you be able to use this new social network on all iOS devices no matter what software version you're running? I do think they did a pretty good job with the Clips app, but I haven't really used it very much because most of the video editing that I do, I do it in Final Cut Pro, so anything that I want, I do it on there and then send it to my phone. The second iteration of the macOS operating system, which was updated from the traditional OS X, but it will undoubtedly feature another name that reflects the California landscape. And let me tell you what, guys, I just recently went to Yosemite, and one of the reasons that I wanted to go to Yosemite, yeah, you guessed it, because of Mac OS X Yosemite. When they updated to El Capitan, let me tell you where I wanted to go. It was on my first to-do list at Yosemite was to go visit it. So we're here, we made it. My goal has been complete. Is that our El Capitan? It's there? El Cap, yeah, yeah. Wow. There he is. Yeah, we'll, we'll be going right by it later. 
So some new OS updates to the TV and the watch. Siri, smart speaker. This is what we came for. At least that's what I came for. So I don't know about you guys, but I would love to know which home speaker you guys use. Do you have Alexa or do you have Google Home? Do you have something else that I'm not even aware about? I sort of use them both in different situations and I can't really say what those situations are. I think it's just when I happen to be like, hey Alexa, what's on my shopping list? Hey Google, set a timer for 15 minutes. I feel like I use Alexa more for shopping and Google more for asking questions. So what will the Siri speaker look like? So that same Redditor also had this to say regarding Apple's rumored Siri-based speaker it will reportedly house an A9 processor and will be about the same size as Apple's trash can Mac Pro design. What's that mean? Is it gonna look like the Mac Pro? The Mac Pro design was pretty cool so I would definitely be okay with that. As to whether or not the device will include a screen, the leaker notes that Apple tested three different designs, one of which did not have a screen. So if they had three different designs and two of them did have a screen, my bets would be on it having a screen unless they launch the first one without a screen and then the one with a screen will be the later iteration. I feel like they're gonna have some competition with the Amazon Alexa Show, which is Amazon's latest Alexa release and it kind of looks like a little you know, like baby monitor type thing. I pre-ordered it, so don't worry. We will definitely have an unboxing and full review when it comes in. iPhone 8, what new features will Apple add? We've discussed all of this before, but some of the latest leaks have said that it's been pretty much confirmed that Apple will not have the Touch ID button built into the glass. It will have a full front glass screen, but the Touch ID looks like it will be in the back. Home button, if the reports are correct, Apple will eliminate the physical home button. So it'll be a lot like the Galaxy S8 where the home button is built into the screen, which is totally fine because it works great on the S8 and I'm sure if it works great on the S8, then Apple's gonna also do an incredible job. But man, I'm just wishing that they could build the Touch ID into the screen on the front. It would be just, oh, it'd be beautiful. Fingers crossed, I'm hoping that that's what they're gonna go for. Price and release date. So a lot of the stuff I've covered in previous videos, there hasn't been that much new news that's been out since the last video that I posted. The drawing above appears to align closely with the similar iPhone 8 rumors that we've seen over the past few days and it should be a close approximation on the device that Apple will actually ship later this year. You guys can see that there was a lot of discussion that they're now going to be having the camera be a vertical camera. So these right here are the two camera lenses. One, and two, and with the flash in the middle. So it'll be sort of the same thing that we have now with the iPhone 7 Plus. You've got your dual cameras and the flash, but they're just gonna turn it and throw the flash in the middle. Here we've got a couple versions of... Oh my goodness, there's a dog. Hi, come here. Hi, I'm making a movie. I'm making a video, do you like? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, it's okay. Hey, you came in here, you wanted to see, you wanted to be next to me. <laughs> That's my sister's dog. He gets a little, um, yeah. This is a pretty cool drawing. This shows where the iPhone 8 would land in a lineup of other phones. So here it is right here, and this would be the iPhone 7. And this is the Pixel. Here's the Galaxy S8, iPhone 7 Plus. And down here, this is the middle render that they think that will be the new iPhone 8. And it looks like there might be two cameras on the front. I'm not quite sure if that's what I'm seeing. That would be pretty interesting if they did decide to put a dual camera in the front. No complaints here. iPhone 8 design leak that shows Touch ID on the back is likely fake. This basically just looks like they copy and pasted the front home button and stuck it on the back. It's very, very similar to that of the Pixel. This looks really nice. A very, very slick back. I mean, there is nothing on it. There's no logos. There's no nothing. Yeah, not so into that. A lot of people are saying that this potentially could have been Apple prototype that they've already thrown out the window and said, nope. This is not happening. Let's do one last check and see if there's anything else new that we may have missed. If there's anything that you guys have heard, feel free to also leave that in the comments below. I always love reading through the discussions after I post these videos because you guys have so many great ideas and I really love seeing what you guys are most looking forward to. Hardware isn't always a given at WWDC. Mm -hmm, you never know. So 2016, they announced iOS 10, Sierra, watchOS 3, and tvOS. So it was sort of a slower WWDC last year. Well, I look forward to seeing what happens on Monday. And again, please tweet me, leave me comments here, Instagram me, Facebook me, and let me know as the event is happening, what's happening. I will be enjoying my Tool concert. And until then, I will see you guys back here on Tuesday. That's when I'll be posting my full wrap up video of everything that happened on Monday at the event. A recap, my reactions, and what I think about what they announced. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye!